Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a miniaturized version of this magic mirror that looks just like this. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. As always, if you like these videos and you wanna stay up to date on the content, don't forget to tap like and hit that subscribe button. Now, today I'm gonna to go over a project that I've done a number of videos on, but we're gonna do a little bit of a different rendition. The project I'm talking about is right behind me. It's a Raspberry Pi powered magic mirror which is basically a, uh, a digital mirror that presents time, weather, photos, anything you can think of coding, you can put up here on the mirror and it acts as sort of like a, a hub for your household. And I got the idea to do a smaller version of that. And to do that, I, uh, I purchased a small three and a half inch screen. So this is sort of what the finished product looks like. I'll power it up in a few seconds to show you exactly what it looks like. But this is basically a three and a half by 2.2 inch picture frame that I've input the Raspberry Pi into. So you can see on the back, try to get a little bit of a good view right there. So this is the Raspberry Pi. It's attached to the picture frame here by this plastic chassis that came with the three and a half inch screen. Now I went on Amazon, I'll put the links in the bottom of this video, but I went on Amazon and I got a three and a half inch touch screen that actually connects to the front of this. So I'll show you right now. This is the picture frame that I actually used to build the magic mirror. It's simple, I got it on Amazon, I think it cost me like $10. Uh, but what's most important is that it's got a lot of depth. You can kind of see in the insides there, there's, uh, it's a pretty deep picture frame, so it's kind of like buying a shadow box frame. And that's important because you have to put uh, the glass for the picture frame, the two-way magic mirror, the Raspberry Pi, and the screen, and they all have to fit in there and not be too cumbersome. Uh, I got an LCD display, three and a half inch from Amazon. Here is the screen. Uh, and there's the back. And what's most important about this is the screen actually sticks right on top of the Raspberry Pi so it acts as one unit. There's no cords or anything. Uh, you actually use this little piece right here and that clicks the HDMI input on the screen and you, you pop on the Raspberry Pi. And so it's all one unit. It looks like this and you put it in. So in order to complete this project, I bought a three and a half inch picture frame the three and a half inch monitor and I had to cut the magic mirror. So I had some spare two-way mirror that I bought for another Raspberry Pi project and I made it the exact size of the glass that came with the picture frame. So I didn't really have to do any measurements. It was sort of color by numbers. I put that all together and you get this Raspberry Pi magic mirror. Now I'll plug it in for you so you can see what it actually looks like. So it's powering up on its own. This is just a regular Raspberry Pi mirror I used the build that came at, on the Magic Mirror website that a lot of you have probably seen. Basic setup, it's loading right now. So it loads the desktop and then it'll kick on the Magic Mirror. Some slight differences here. Uh, the mirror I have on my wall is vertical. This one I just had to switch the orientation so that it'd be horizontal. And this sort of acts like uh, a small little desk clock for me right now. So you can see here, I just basically have the time uh, right here, just above that, I have uh, the date and the day, and below that is the weather. So that's really all I've done so far, but the one addition that I did put in was I added the Raspberry Pi remote to make it a little bit easier to change some of the modules on this tiny, tiny magic mirror. So using the remote, which I'll pop up on the screen, you can see what I'm talking about. So if you want to take some of these things off, take the time off, take off the current weather. We have a blank clock, so like at nighttime, you could do that, or if you wanna put uh, a different module, like uh, depending on where your office is or what you do daily, if you travel a lot, it could have uh, flight times, subway times, stuff like that, but you can add it all back using the remote. So I thought that was kinda of nice. Uh, so that's the miniature Raspberry Pi Magic Mirror build that I came up with. Initially I thought it was going to be cool as a like alarm clock, but then when I put it on my desk right by my computer, I thought it looked really cool and I just decided I wanted to keep it. And what's even cooler is that when I see the Raspberry Pi Magic Mirror on my desk, I think of like all kinds of new ideas and all I have to do is SSH into the Magic Mirror with my laptop and I can work on it while it's on my desk right in front of me. I don't have to have this gigantic monitor like I have up here, I can just sort of like tinker with code, tinker with modules while I'm sitting right at my desk. So I thought that that made this project that much better. Uh, if you like this video and you have any cool ideas for what you think I should do with a magic mirror, comment below. And as always, if you like these videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, tap like. I'll see you in the next video.